Uh, this is only for the tutorial, so... Um, Alright then. We'll have to do something about this padlock. Take this old pistol and blast the wretched thing, will you? Great, you have a new toy. Press R to switch to first person view. This will make aiming your pistol easier. To further enhance your aim, hold down shift to zoom in. Lastly, to line up an accurate shot, hold down the left mouse button. Wait until the reticule is smallest, then fire away. Shoot the padlock to proceed. That's pretty self-explanatory, as was explained. Grab yourself Just a dupe. horse and ride away with Monfort and his men. Oh, sorry. Get close enough to the horse until you see the word mount appear. Press F to mount up. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for these guys to get on their horses because, as you can see, the pathfinding uh, for these guys isn't the greatest. Uh, so basically, just walk up to something and press F to interact with it. Oh, jeez. You're saddled up. Horses can be wily beasts. To control your mount, use the W, A, S, and D keys. Press W to spur the horse onward and S to rein him in. A and D will rein the horse left and right. Riding requires some practice. Don't forget that it's easier to make tight turns if you slow down a bit. And, well, yeah. The good thing is that I can just let the uh, narrator here explain More everything. on the horizon. Time to put your sword and pistol to use. You can scroll up with the mouse wheel to switch between your weapons. Now, go ahead and fight your way out with fire and sword. <laughs> nice little title reference there. Ooh, nice shot. Um, in this game, firearms, uh, this is the 1600s, so firearms are not that accurate at all, so to get a shot like that from horseback is really good. And this is essentially the, uh, duration of the game is, um, you'll do a lot of fighting and etc. Uh, I'll explain the rest when we get to the campaign map. And it looks like that was all. Uh, oh, there we go. Well, many thanks, stranger. These are strange times, as we both know uh, well know. And it's and it good to meet new friends. Would you care to join us for supper? Aye, that I would. After defeating the final enemy, you return to talk with your new ally. My name is Jacques de Clermont. Um, please correct me if I pronounce that wrong. I am not. If I'm a, if I well know correctly, that's French, and I do not speak French. But uh, so anyway, I can see you are surely no brigand. Come, unsaddle your steed and rest yourself by the fire. The supper is nigh ready. My name is Psychotic Cone. How did you find yourself in these lands, sir? Where are you headed? I, I am of the Clermonts of Languedoc. I have no idea. Our line descends from the famed crusader, the Count Simon de Clermont. But unlike my magnificent ancestor, I have neither great titles nor vast lands. I served in guard of Cardinal Maz Mazarin and was doing well for myself. But then the devil made his fool made me his fool, and I challenged a certain de Artagan, a uh, lieutenant of the Royal Musketeers. To a duel, fully knowing my skill with saber and pistol alike, the guileful Gascon thought to avoid the risk and con convince the queen that I secretly planned an attempt on the life of the young Louise. Thus, in the night on Duel's Eve, or thus in the night on Duel's Eve, I was forced to flee Paris, and now I am doomed to wander the fields of Europe. Tell me, sir, what is happening in these lands? The air smells of gunpowder and burning cities. Eastern Europe stands on the verge of a great war. For many years, the Zap Zaporozhian, the, Zapor the Zaporozhian Cossacks fought for freedom against the Polish gentry, but were nearly defeated. And so, Hetman Bog Bogdan, I don't, I'm not even gonna try for, to pronounce that. Uh, was forced to turn to the Russians for help. Thus, not long ago in the... I don't know. Uh, the Council of Cossack Leaders, known as the Starshina, Starshina uh, swore allegiance to the Russian Tsar. 
Alexei Mikhailovich. Now the Tsar marches with the Cossacks, and together they are preparing an attack on the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Meanwhile, the King of Sweden and the Crimean uh, Khan look on, awaiting the outcome of the uh, upcoming conflict. That is all I know. If you meet any soldiers on the road, you might learn further news from them. They should know far more than I. Um, these are basically... I will explain these uh, countries uh, in detail, maybe not as de uh, detailed as um, right here in this uh, little bar, but I will try to explain them uh, in the n in, uh, coming episodes. What can you tell me of this area? Tis nothing short of a battlefield between the Swedes, the Poles, the Russians, and the Cossacks. Oh, and the Crimeans, too, would love to grab their share. If you are asking for my counsel, counsel, visit the cities, where you can buy arms and supplies and learn the latest news. The local rulers, lords, mayors, and even village elders might give you jobs of various kinds. My sincere advice, though, do not take on more than you can handle. And yes, don't get me wrong. Er, and yes, don't get me wrong, but visiting the odd pub can be quite useful. There, one can find all manner of men who could help you on your way, and you might even and you might hire some skilled warriors or even test your strength against others for pay. Uh, what would you advise I do from here? These are troubled times, and a mercenary, especially one that is uh, known command, is worth his weight in gold. Start with small jobs, I would say. Take your time to get accustomed and understand the local affairs. Wipe, wipe out some bandits, do some freelance jobs, escort a military or merchant convoy or protect a village. After that, you might try enlisting with one of the rulers. You'll earn a reward, maybe you can get yourself an estate, which by turns would also bring you some coin. Once you gather some lo loyal warriors and earn a name for yourself, you, may, you, may, you might lay siege to a stronghold, throw your backing behind a claimant to the throne, or even start a rebellion yourself. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you, but now I shall be moving on. I recommend you set your path to Zemoshi and take in the town. 